One of the most glorious aspects about being a fan of pro wrestling is our appreciation for its nostalgia. We love the callbacks and the continuity when a superstar returns or gives us a little wink wink nod nod to a previous gimmick. That's the sort of stuff that just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside my tum tum because I'm Kevin Callis from Wrestling Behind the Themes and won't you please hit that subscribe button because here are 10 wrestlers who brought back their old entrance theme for one night only. Very few tag team breakups are as memorable as when Shawn Michaels betrayed Marty Jannetty and threw him through the barbershop window, thus ending their tag team known as the Rockers. Once considered a ripoff of Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express, the Rockers emerged as a must-see tag team as Shawn and Marty exhibited a quick, fast-paced, athletic style that rocked. However, this heel turn took the heartbreak kid to the tippy top of the wrestling world. But on the other hand, Marty the Party struggled to stay employed and relevant in the wrestling spotlight. Now it took 13 years after the super kick heard round the world until the two finally reunited on an episode of Raw in 2005 when the Rockers again rocked out to this more generic version of the Ultimate Warriors frenetic instrumental anthem. Now with a name like the Sandman, there's really only one piece of heavy metal mashing music for you to use, and that my friends is Enter Sandman by Metallica. Of course, back when ECW was becoming popular, it was still very much the wild wild west as far as things like copyrights and music licensing went, so songs were used all the time with the artist never ever seeing a dime. Fast forward to 2001, and Metallica's memorable feud with Napster and rules and regulations were finally put in in place and the Sandman was left with having to use various other theme songs. I know, I know, sad but true. However, when he returned to ECW for WWE's One Night Stand in 2005, it was one of the only times he ever used this song again since the mega hit was now a nightmare to license. It's sexual, baby. Oh, oh. And I want to give it all to you. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry, has had many different incarnations over the years. From smiley Olympian Mark Henry, to Nation of Domination Mark Henry, WWECW Mark Henry, and Salmon Jacket Mark Henry. But the gimmick that he is most famously linked to is Sexual Chocolate. The Sexual Chocolate character would run its course, prematurely that is, thanks to a couple of cringe-worthy moments that pushed the envelope even for the Attitude Era. However, this soulful entrance theme inspired Inspired by Barry White, aka the Walrus of Love. How about that for a nickname? Was so bad that it was almost good. And so it was for one night only back in 2010 when the WWE went old school on an episode of Monday Night Raw and Henry brought back this crowd favorite song and persona. Kevin Nash, who suffered from multiple mediocre WCW gimmicks before bursting onto the scene as Shawn Michaels' insurance policy and bodyguard made a surprise Royal Rumble appearance back in 2011. Fresh off a six-year run in TNA, Nash reprised his role as Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Big Kev got everyone's engines revving that night thanks to this bluesy, harmonica-driven theme music that once helped fuel Diesel's ascent to the WWF Heavyweight Championship. He's a man. One of the greatest ribs in wrestling history occurred on the November 10th, 2011 edition of WWE Superstars, just prior to a match between Sir William Regal and Daniel Bryan that was taped in the birthplace of the Beatles, Liverpool, England. However, someone backstage decided to play an absolutely hilarious prank on the Blackpool Brawler. Now, just for some context here, many, many moons ago, when he was known as Steven Regal during the WWF Attitude Era, this right here was his abomination of a theme song called Real Man's Man. So for this one night only, and in front of his fellow English countrymen, while walking down the aisle to his regular theme song, it was switched over to his old theme as the speakers blasted. He's a man, such a man. You could see Regal, unable to control himself, and burst out into laughter. This was one of the cases of a harmless rib, and to be honest, it was absolutely hysterical. Them 
Kofi Kingston's rise in the WWE took decades. And while Kofi Mania ran wild for a while in 2019, who can forget about where Kofi was a decade earlier? Debuting for WWE CW, Kofi was a stereotypical Jamaican wrestler, fake accent and all, but not much is spoken about Kofi's Jamaican me crazy days. However, during a 2016 segment on Monday Night Raw with the new day and a time machine, they took Kofi back to the days when he used this jamming entrance theme by reggae artist Kali Buds called S.O.S. This song really shows off the dreadlocked Dynamo's original fun-loving gimmick, but the crowd in attendance that night seemed mostly confused and probably thought the New Day were just smoking a bunch of hippie lettuce or something. Booker T is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. His success in WCW carried over into the WWE. However, when Book won the 2006 King of the Ring tournament, a strange personality turn occurred when he adopted the King Booker moniker. Like many wrestlers have tried to do through the years, the King gimmick was mostly negatively received. But Booker has gone on the record to say that this gimmick was the best run of his career. Nonetheless, he did bring back the King Booker character for one night only, royal entrance music and all, when he arrived on a 2018 episode of SmackDown Live to honor the aforementioned New Day, who had just become five-time, five-time, five-time world tag team champions. Seth Freaking Rollins is one of the biggest stars in the WWE, thanks in part to being a member of one of the greatest trio factions this century. And of course, we're talking about The Shield. Alongside his brothers, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, these hounds of justice were launched into the stratosphere and are now all the top faces of their prospective wrestling companies. Now, when The Shield officially split up in 2019, when Ambrose left to become John Moxley, fans probably thought that they would never again hear the words ah. Sierra Hotel India Echo Lima Delta but leave it to the architect who brought back the classic crowd entrance and tactical gear for his big WWE Universal Championship match against Roman Reigns at the 2022 Royal Rumble pay-per-view If you put together a Mount Rushmore of this century's wrestling superstars, despite his seven-year hiatus, CM Punk has to be carved into that granite. Now, the reasons for that include his successful WWE run and his internet-breaking return joining AEW. But before all that, Punk paid his dues and cut his teeth in Ring of Honor. And this theme song right here, Miseria Cantara by AFI, truly reflects the golden era of the indie scene. But at AEW's Revolution pay-per-view in 2022, the Second City Saint surprised fans by not walking out to Living Color's cult of personality. Rather, Punk called back to his ROH days, opting to use Miseria Cantara before his dog collar match with MJF, leaving some fans confused by the entrance since his days in Ring of Honor are less remembered than his time in the WWE. But still, this was an epic moment and a great example of long-term storytelling. 